Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys an old school album review. And today we're going to be talking about this album. It's a sort of like a classic in like the like second wave or like of a uh, modern metalcore. And I know a lot of people are probably going to give me shit for this album, but I really don't give a fuck. I dig this album, and and as you can see by the title, today we're going to be talking about "Witness" by Bless the Fall. This is the band's second album released in October of two thousand. And nine through Fearless Records, and one of the best, I think, in my opinion, the best things for happening to me in 2019 was actually seeing them play this whole album in its entirety back in 2019 with Escape the Fate, and it was awesome. Now, for me, Bless the Fall are metalcore, and I feel like metalcore, the the whole subgenre, especially nowadays, days in like 2021, at this point, it just became so like, like diverse and just so more broadened like when you when people talk metalcore some people would think of like older bands like kill switch engage unearth shadows fallen out as i lay dying and some people would bring up like the second wave around that time with bands like bless the fall asking alexandria we came as romans a day to remember bands like that and i remember even back in high school oh, kind of like bringing it full circle probably around this time when this album dropped or it's like other bands sort of like getting their names out there starting up at that time I'm like metalcore ha has always just been like oh we, like the first wave of like kill the kill switch engage and stuff and then we have like the bless the falls escape the fates you know bands like that but really I feel like for me me it's I just think bless the fall just really just honed in with their sound I feel like this is really what they them just kind of like solidifying kind of like their sound and kind of like giving a little bit of a back history this is actually the first album with uh, their current vocalist Bo Boken on vocals after Craig Mabbitt their original singer left to join Escape the Fate and so they recruited Bo Boken who used to sing in the band called Take the Crown and I thought of course that this album follows up their debut album His Last Walk which I think is a timeless album and one of the best albums in the metalcore genre uh, it's very mysterious atmospheric and very kind of like dark dark and i feel like this album is a little bit dark dark but not as dark as like his what last walk and i thought like that album with the song like guys like you make us make us look bad i thought it was one of the timeless song things in the, in the, the like metalcore but back to witness I, like i said i feel like Bo just does a really great job his first record with the band he just really just just holds nothing back he just really just lets go and it's same thing with like jared their bass player unleashing some of the most most sickest screaming his like harsh i just love how like the contrast between those two vocals are really shine and especially like like the guitar work from uh, eric lambert and mike frisbee just like the the riffing and just like the the leads is just great the bass is pretty solid and drumming wise matt trainer's Nurse drumming is pretty superb so without further ado let's dive into this album track by track now starting things off is the little intro intro called 2.0 and some people would say that this song could like like stand out as it as its own but i just consider it just to be sort of like the intro sort of like the interlude no do we don't get to hear Bo yet on here but jared sort of like delivers sort of like some kind of like hardcore grits and it's just some really sick intense riffs and then jared just screaming we are not dead we are not dead it kind of like just brings like a kind of like a great rhythmic beat to it and it just kicks in at full force and i think it's a great way to start off this up album and then we go into what's left of me now what's left of me just kicks right in with intense use of like breakdowns and then jared unleashing like some six screens and then finally we get to hear Bo Bo as he leads you into the chorus as well as like a great melodic guitar part and an amazing chorus now i love sort of like the, the notes that are sustained on here and it just kind of ends with a different melody and it works really well and they've pretty much showed that how diverse they are or this 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 album um, moving on to To Hell and Back. Now To Hell and Back starts off with a great melodic guitar intro that just leads you in, followed by a high scream just right in your face. Then Bo, Bo leads into sort of like some tenderness. And I love sort of like the vocal patterns, like the vocal work from Bo and Jared. They just work really well together. There are, and there are some parts in here just really just work well just with the intensity and the melodicness. Um, next song is called God Wears Gucci. Now this song kind of has a atmospheric sound guitar that just leads you in and it's sort of like recapturing sort of like the imagination of like what's left of me or to hell and back and it has the elements of melod melodicness and intensity 
Um, next song on here is called Hey Baby, Here's the Song That You Wanted. Now this is actually the first song where Bo is just singing pretty much solely and there's a little aggression on terms in with the vocal style and there's like a usage of like dialogue which kind of like sets like the whole tone and the vibe and pretty much what the song is about and then the guitar solo comes in and Bo singing over it it almost kind of people would consider it kind of like a ballad in a way and it's just really so catchy to it um next up is the title track of the album being witness now this is pretty much where they bring the most relentless aspects to the group here it has like a build-up element with like rhythm in there which is very suspenseful and then jerry just leads in with a scream and then boom it just feels like an all-out thrasher and this in my opinion is like the most kind of like aggressive bless the fall song um, i've heard i mean i've heard like other albums like like awakening is pretty good and even like their most recent album hard feelings is pretty good but i think witness in my opinion is the most aggressive bless the fall song in their entire catalog and it's a little bit aggressive but also has like some melody with bow coming in and some like melodic guitar parts in there there it's an overall damn good song um, next song is called Last Ones Left. Now, this kicks off the second half of the album. Now, this is a great song, during, which I feel like kind of like fits in with the world that we're currently in with the COVID and shit. And it's kind of like gives like a feeling of hope. It feels like a little bit positive, which we are right now, since we're going to get vaccinated, to, hopefully for everybody. And it has like a great melodic like vocals. And I love how this song kind of like rotates the vocals from Bo and Jared. And it has almost kind of like an anthem effect to it. Um... Next song is 590. Now, I think 590 for me is one of the most underrated Bless the Fall songs. In fact, I don't think they've played this song live, especially from, except for when the last time I saw, saw them when they played the, this album in its entirety. Now, 590, I feel like this is kind of like a love song a little bit. It has a bit of a muffled intro, and then Jared just kicks in with a scream that and then Bo sort of like backing with sort of like melodic vocals, and the chorus in here is really, really catchy. Um... Next off song is called, called We'll Sleep When We're Dead. Now this song has a, an attitude to it. it. It's a very rhythm driven song and and the bow in my opinion really just shines right here and it pretty much has like flow and energy and it's just a really motivating song. It just really just makes you wanna just get up and just you know, go live your life. Um, next song is, it, or the next two songs I want to talk about is like Skinwalkers and You Deserve Nothing and I Hope You Get Less. Now, I feel like these two songs, like they kind of have like a good feel of like formula where the, they continues to for formula a little bit, bit, but I, bit, and if there is, at this point, a lot of people would say it, it's predictable, which I do kind of the, the disagree a little bit. I feel like they exceeded a bit, but without overkill. And I feel like especially skinwalkers it really just delivers intensity and you deserve nothing and i hope you get less and i feel I really love like the chorus in here it's kind of like sustained and and the melody is just really just catchy um and then we finally get to the last song the album being stay still now this pretty much ends with the most melodic aspect of the band and which one could argue that this could be a ballad but i honestly think that it's a little bit somber to be one and it's the most melodic song pretty much on here and it pretty much ends on a different note but it doesn't feel like too oh, out of place and it kind of like reinforces sort of like the mysterious elements that are on this album as well as like with the band now overall witness by bless the fall is a really classic album especially in like that whole second wave of metalcore from like the late late 2000s and the early 2010s i would consider this album along with like to plant a sea by we came as romans the first asking alexandria album another solid or great albums in the whole second wave of like metalcore so i'm gonna give this album a score i'm gonna give witness by bless the fall a solid 10 out of 10 it's probably still my favorite bless the fall album hence why i got the vinyl of it so yeah that's my review of witness guys let me know in the comments you guys think about this album and thank you guys for watching and as always keep it metal